The other legal weed shop that's already open here in the city, so far it has not been getting the best reviews online. The biggest complaint, the prices. Yeah, Fox 5's Arthur Chian takes a look at the pricing and if it's something customers can expect to change. While New York has started lighting up with legal retail cannabis being sold, some reviews have been torching the first licensed dispensary to open, the Housing Works location on Broadway and East 8th Street, showing three out of five stars after 61 reviews. Some of the one-star comments rag on the limited choice of merchandise, or more often, the pricing. Quote, you don't need to rob us in the process, end quote, one commenter says, and a lot of people seemingly agree. Another rails on the one gram vape pens being sold for $95, he says, when he was buying two gram vape pens for $60. We're averaging about 750 guests a day um, from open to close. Sasha Nugent is the retail manager at the Housing Works Cannabis Company. She says despite a smaller number of online critics, the store is exceeding all sales expectations. She says, unlike the illegal market, because all the products sold in the store have to be laboratory tested and approved, there's a bottleneck as suppliers are all now trying to get their goods approved because the first of the retail locations has opened. Nonetheless, they've been able to keep their shelves stocked and this early in already have regulars. Some people have come back already three times. We've only been open for a week and a half and they already have their favorites. So that's a testament to what we carry. Maybe also a testament to their popularity, the long lines also cited by critics. Every uh, legalization rollout uh, is going to meet with haters and haters are going to hate for sure. All these buds kill negative online reviews comes as no surprise to senior editor at Leafly, David Downs. He says merchandise and pricing are always the top complaints from consumers in states where legal recreational sales are launched, noting that New York State has been very measured in their approach as they've built a cannabis market with an intense focus on creating social equity. New York has a command economy. It had regulators who picked a winner and whenever you have a command economy, you tend to have lower amounts of supply, the same amount of demand. And the good news here is that experts tell us this will all improve with time. As more stores open, the lines will get shorter. And with more supply on the market, the prices should go down, they say. As for how to deal with those lines outside Sasha's store before that day comes, some advice directly from the retail manager includes showing up when they open at 11 in the morning. They get busy as people get out from work. And there's this. Definitely bring cash for the time being. Um, visit our website. You can find that on our Instagram, Housing Works Cannabis Co. Um, if you visit the website, you can place an order in advance. You can skip the line by showing the receipt at the door and just pick up your product. That addresses the lines. Now all the supply needs to do is address the pricing. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.